Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Eddie Murphy Jr. here, Maple Scissor, Edmonton, Canada, tapping in with y'all. So, guys, it just came to me. Like, I was going through YouTube and I see a comment that Patty Conroy left on my th on my uh, video, and he said it's all a publicity stunt. And then I start thinking, yep, I think what it really boils down to. Is the simple fact that the Oxford Joyces want to lay their mark down on this YouTube world, you know, in the, in the BKB world, right? I'm kind of more. This is more hoping too, because I'm a big, big, big Oxford Joyce fan. I just can't help to call a spade a spade. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm like Joy Joyce Jr. is like the king of kings in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm Irish, I'm a Murphy, you know, I I idolize these guys, but I, I'm not going to idolize people for false, for, for bad things they're doing, and, you know, I, I apologize to that, and if I'm wrong, I apologize, but as it's stating right now, it's, that could just put it up, a sexual conviction, right, a sexual conviction, I know that he never graped nobody before, but he sexually fonded a girl and propositioned her, you know what I mean? And, and, and scared the be Jesus out of her to the point she ran to the police or phoned the police or I don't know what had happened. I never seen that outcome. It'd be nice to actually see the full, full thing on that, like from the court, the paperwork, right from the beginning to the end, the full thing. It'd be nice to see that. Just, you know, properly make the right opinion you know what i'm saying you know a sexual offender is a sexual offender right but anyway back to what i'm saying i think the joyces of oxford are not happy with what the joyces of manchester and the 3d fight club and all that representing the bkb world okay so i think they're taking their opportunity right now to host the fight. Now, after the fight, they might kick Deck off and call him down to the dirt and do whatever they need to do to maintain what they got to maintain. You understand? But I think that's what it is. They want to be known in the BKB world. That's why they want to host the fight. That's why it's happening. Right? And all this YouTube drama is a publicity stunt just to sell tickets. Okay? And... These are all actors, more or less. Just like you see when uh, Conor McGregor and Nick Diaz gets up there and goes at each other, or Floyd Mayweather and, and goes at each other. It's a big prop before the fight, right? So I'm hoping this is what it is because I'm a very big fan of the Oxford Joyces. And like I say, uh, but I can't take it back because Decker really is sexually convicted so it's all in the Joyce's hands at this point the Oxford Joyce's hands on what they want to do and I hope my conspiracy is right that they just want to like the Manchester Joyce's and what the 3D Fight Club and all that I don't think they're very very fond of that and I think this is their opportunity to get in the door open it up and to show the world the Oxford Joyce's you know what I mean? So this might could be what it is, but to do it on the back of Decker Heggy is really why I'm upset, guys. And, and you know, I apologize to people that are offended because of the way I'm coming out. But I call it spade a spade, and, and I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. You know, Decker Heggy is a sexual offender. He put it up there. Now... Whether some people want to forgive him and go ahead for that, that's his choice. All Decca got to do is say, yes, I'm wrong for what I've done, you know, and that's it. You know, I was wrong, you know, and apologize maybe to the lady, a public apology. And, and, and I'm sure I'll never be a fan of Decca Heggy again. I was a big fan of him before this. I'll never be a fan of Decca Heggy again. 
but some people in the comments that don't weren't brought up the way I am and, and adapted the morals that I got will follow Dekahegi and still will support him. You know what I'm saying? And that's to each their own. As long as he comes out and be real about it, he deserves to be on YouTube and have his following in a certain sense, I guess. You know what I mean? Because to each their own, even though he is a sexual offender, he isn't a, he didn't grape her, but he, he didn't do right. It still was wrong. It still violated a woman. And it makes me mad how he downplays it. Because the victims. It, it's all about the victims of sexual assault. And the way he's going about it. Is not helping the victims of sexual assault. So maybe Decca if he went about it a different way. Maybe us people here would just be quiet. Let you do your thing. And we'll go on and do and stay in our lane. And you stay in your lane. Right? Now, guys, as of what side I'm on, I'm a viewer. I see all of this. And, you know, I'm viewing everything. Right? And, again, I support people who support me. Like, Tony Burke has shared my video. So why wouldn't I support him? I don't know the man. I'm not going to be, hey, I need your paperwork before I let you share my video. No, bro. He's, he seems like a great guy. I, I don't listen to what people say without paperwork, so I'm sorry if I'm not in not adjusted to your narrative. So because I'm not adjusted to your narrative, you're going to put me on a certain side. I'm in defense here. I don't like anybody who has sexual convictions, right? As far as I know, as far as what Tony Burkett says, he doesn't have any, Right? And the same with Paddy Conroy. People say stuff about him. I don't see no paperwork on him. I hear lots of bull crap, which I don't pay attention to either. Because why do that? It's not right. None of us should do that. Apollo says he, when he started, that's what he was. But now he turned into the biggest hypocrite ever. And now he, he can't get mad at me for people's actions. I'm sitting here and I'm... I'm representing my actions and what I do, and I'm explaining it to y'all. If Decker went about it the right way, maybe it wouldn't be the way it is, but the reason that he's going about it this way, I guess, is to sell tickets, which is on the back of sexual victims. That ain't right either, you know, but it is what it is. I'm sitting back, I'm observing, saying what I feel in these videos. If you don't like it, sorry, nothing I can do for you, bro. Because YouTube is YouTube. Videos are put out to be criticized and to be critiqued. You know, and all I'm doing is I'm intrigued with uh, BKB World and everything about it. So I'm giving you my reaction. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a proud, proud Irishman. You know what I mean? I know I'm Canadian, but I'm a Murphy. I'm an Irishman. And I just, the Oxford Joyce's, I just felt some sort of way, I'm sorry. And I jumped on the YouTube and I said something. And, and that's how I really feel. And I stand by how I feel. Okay? And that's it. And I think that's how everybody should be. But hey, I'm, I'm me, you be who you be. And this thing about narratives and all that, I'll never spin a narrative. Because you say you want me to spin it or this is this and that's that. I'm going to keep it straight down the line. And that's it. And if you don't like that, you ain't going to be able to roll with me. That's why not many people can roll with me in the real life. But anyway, y'all. I'm out. Peace.